What's up, frog fuckers? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. And welcome our roommate's new baby, our newest member to the family, <laughs> little Malachi, on this Saturday. Show, let's get a good, show him these pretty blue eyes. Mrs. McStud drove hours for this little guy. Oh, look at him. Look <laughs> at him. He's, he's so cute. He's so calm and sweet. He is a very sweet puppy. Look at him. He, just, he loves cuddles. Amazing. Was it worth the drive, Mrs. McStud? Yes. <laughs> you should have seen Mrs. McStud's face on the picture I got. She was so excited to be and holding... And he loves me. And it's, it's our roommate's dog. Yes. But she uh, she's always wanted a little puppy that gives her loves, and this puppy gives her puppy loves. So she's just giddy with fucking excitement. Ah. Look at you. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is what... Now I got... I drive five and a half hours. Yeah, he's a... For this dog. That poor little guy is... Well loved already. Uh, yeah, he's like literally the baby of the house right now. <laughs> um, but he's doing so good. He likes to overeat. Um, yeah, try to eat and he wants to, his little tummy can't handle it all. So we <laughs> learned real fast. So we got to limit his, limit his food. <clears throat> all right, I'll go ahead and open your drink. Can you do this? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. Where else is he going to go? I don't know. He might go lay in the living room. Excuse me. What? So our pug isn't taking too kindly. He got, we got adjustment issues, which is normal for, you know, new Two dogs. Males. Two boy dogs, uh, you know. Little Malachi came into Buster's territory, but now it looks like Buster is getting defensive over him. Like, uh, like it's Buster's kid. Is he asleep? Yeah, he's out. Yeah, Malachi has crashed. <laughs> Can you drink that while you hold him? Yeah, I just did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do have an idea. What's that? Oh, your little, uh, need to help? There, baby. You got, oh, you got him cuddle in your neck pillow? Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Nope. He wants, he wants me. He wants the body heat. So, <clears throat> it's shit dick Saturday. Uh, pretty, pretty amazing Saturday, really. Hubie! Damn it, we were supposed to drink a Mickey's. I stayed up all night. And, well, you were doing woodworking and it looked amazing, so I'm like, it's all good. Oh, little Malachi. Yeah, we're like, uh, yeah, we're puppy struck right He's now. He's amazing. He is amazing. Cute little guy. And He's husky lab mix. I think he's more husky than lab. Yeah, he's going to be a little furball. But, um, he's not going to be small for long. I still can't wait to hear his little bark, though. I had not get a chance to, I slept all day, so... When he got home, I just can't, like, I came in here to sleep some more because I was up late as shit. I did show him to you, though. <clears throat> yeah. I put him on the bed. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. So cute. So, let me just ask, how was your day, Miss McStud? It was good. Mm. Actually. The drive was a good, uh, amazing, actually. Mm -hmm. Like, it was a lot of country roads. I didn't have much road rage. I did have a couple times. Of course. Uh, But other than that... It was good. Yeah. And she was so, like, this... We were hoping that this one didn't fall through like the last puppy we tried to get where I stayed for hours in Fort Wayne. Or Marion, actually. Yeah, I was in that, at the Marion post office for what, four? Four and a half hours? Yeah. Waiting for some bullshit motherfucker that never showed? Yeah. Ugh. So I made her show me pictures. Yes. And then while I was about 40 minutes into my drive, she's like, are you already on your way? I was like, fuck. <laughs> so I text her, yes. Mm -hmm. And she goes, my husband might have to meet you. I got called into work. Okay. I don't care who meets me. Yeah. He's a... Wow. He's... And his little tail has a white tip. Oh, my goodness. I've never actually had a... Like, I've had puppies, but, like, we never kept puppies. Like, we had dogs when I was young. My grandparents did. So I get attached to the puppies, but, you know, then we, we'd uh, let them go to other homes. So I've never actually got to have a puppy from, like, puppy stage to adult dog stage. And Kinda he's wild. only, he shouldn't have been with us for another week. So I don't know if he's five or seven weeks. Oh. I can't really remember how old they have to be. Well, either way, he's young and very well taken care of. Yes. I mean, just look at his shit. Like, like he is literally, look at, oh, he just laying there <laughs> like a cutie. Like, eh. the roommate was kind of nervous about having him in the video. And this McStud's like, no, he's got to be in our video tonight. And the roommate fell asleep, so I took him. You dirty dog, you. 
So, yeah, we, we had to show Buster off. Uh, we did, but now Buster's being a complete asshole. Yeah, and Buster wasn't real privy about the video. Oh, well, Malachi, he don't care. No. He's just happy to be cuddled. Mm. And he lays in the dog bed that we got for Buster. Oh. The, the bed that never got used. Yeah. I mean, seriously, like, he's uh, cute. <laughs> and, yeah, awesome, awesome dog. But yeah, it's uh, Saturday. There is some sad news today. What's that? Boxing. Yeah. Marvelous Marvin Hagler died today at 66. You probably don't know who that is, do you? I've heard of the name. Oh, he he, he was an older guy. Uh, he, amazing. I think he was like what 63 and 2. They hadn't re released the uh, cause of death, but uh, my grandpa loved to watch him. Like in uh, Back in the day, we lived in the country with the five antenna channels. Mm -hmm. So anyone that had cable or ordered a pay-per-view, we would have little boxing VHSs. So I actually got to watch uh, Hagler versus Leonard. Okay. And, you know, that's one of the first points that I realized that I really loved boxing yeah. when I was young. I was like, damn, this is awesome. Um, but yeah, Hagler was a uh, amazing, amazing boxer. But yeah, he uh, he died today, which sucks. Uh, I don't know what else. Some of you guys' the stimulus checks is hitting. <laughs> Y'all buying some bullshit? You go get you. I want to buy bullshit. Yeah, I kind of want to buy bullshit. <laughs> Not even gonna <laughs> lie. Like, what can we buy? I don't know. A new TV. I can buy a bigger TV. We There's got, a 75 it's, inch one. It's fine. There's a 75 inch one that I really want. Okay, pay pay the extra hundred bucks. Have someone come and bring it and set it up. Uh, no, it's, and it's only fifty. Thank you. Whatever. Get it from Best Buy. They'll come and do a home installation. <laughs> Shit. I think Walmart does too, but I don't know if I trust Walmart people to fucking install a goddamn uh, TV. Shit, I can't even trust Walmart people to pick my orders when we order online. Are you kidding me? And no one really gives a fuck if they work at Walmart. Some people do, but a lot of people are... Like, there's a handful of really good Walmart employees. And I wish he wouldn't like, lay his jackasses. head on my arm, because I'm like... Like, I look like a retarded idiot right now. Well, he's a baby. This is what happens when you have a baby. <laughs> they lay in all the positions... Um, he's like a cat. The thing with cats is you could be laying in bed. Dogs do the same thing too. He kind of really loves me. Yeah. He he kind of does. Is he gonna sleep with me? No, he's not. Well, you'll be sleeping in the living room. I guess he can sleep where he wants. Do not. This, 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 I, I love this puppy. He ain't taking my spot though. I'm Big Spoon. Okay, but I have to sleep alone. Yeah, you do. So you can. And he would be little little spoon. That's 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 teaspoon right there. <laughs> <laughs> we got Miss McStud the ladle when we got teaspoon. He's not even <laughs> little spoon. He's tiny spoon. He like that. He like that little tiny spoon. What they use for sugar? The little sugar spoon <laughs> that's real tiny to pick up sugar cubes out of the fucking dish. I just hope my other dog takes well. He will. This is first day. It makes me mad that he's acting that way. Well, he's a hard-headed little shit, but he'll get used to it. He's a stubborn asshole. He is, and he'll be fine. It takes some adjustment time, and we, that, it takes us to be patient, it takes him to be patient. I'm not. I know, but you gotta be patient with these things. And we, we, we honestly didn't do the... We didn't really have a chance to do, like, the optimal dog integration what do you mean? Like, typically, before you bring them in the house, you want to, like, take the dogs out and walk them around. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, you didn't? Oh. Yeah, like, typically, we only had one leash, though. Like, you want to kind of And I the... felt horrible. Because mm -hmm. when the pup was trying to... I didn't... I mean, I was alone, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, our roommate was awake, but he's limited. Um, but The kids were there. Mm -hmm. But they were just excited. The mm -hmm. kids were. Yeah. And I really didn't think it was fair because I put the pup in the house and he was trying to explore the house and everything mm -hmm. with Buster sniffing his balls. Yeah. Well, see. And he, so I think I should have left Buster up. Well, the, the reason why we take him outside is so they can get their sniffing done in a neutral place. Sorry. So right, no, you're fine. Because right now, like, we didn't really have much of a choice. But this is Buster's yeah. house to him. So when you take him out and let him get to know each other in a neutral location... Then they can kind of form a bond, you know, like, like, oh, I'm not in your territory, you're not in my okay, territory, we can sense. be friends. But Buster and, thinks everything's his, even the yeah, yard. I know, but then, like, you get them, you know, take them for a nice long walk, get them accustomed to each other, and then you 
Well, he's a puppy, though. It's hard to take him for long walks. He wants to take puppy naps. Yes. Um, but then you bring him in the house. Sorry. And then, no, it, 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 we just didn't have that opportunity to do that. But So we're we doing the, uh, uh, how do you say that? The hard knocks? Yeah. Training course of a... Uh, the uh, roommate was texting the entire drive. Like, he texted at 11.45 thinking that we already had the pub. Mm-hmm. I still have he an hour excited. to drive. He's excited. Like, yeah, I still have a whole hour. Oh, yeah, he sent me, he showed me, he's like, he's like, Pff. I'm like, what? He showed me the text, like, we still have an hour to go. I was like, yeah, Raymond, it's a long drive. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> it's going to be a minute. Like, they're still on the way to get it. And then I finally, like, I was up, because I was wanting to do a Mickey's with Hubie. And I finally lay down. <clears throat> Roommate's so excited, he wakes me up. <laughs> He's like, hey, and shows me the picture of her. I'm like, oh my god! Like, I was so happy that the, that actually worked out. The dog, we, I was happy the dog was real, and even more so now that he's here because he's like a, he is a cute little pup. <laughs> really is like one of the best puppies you could ask for. Like he's calm. He. She told he, me that he that these dogs, like most of the dogs that she has sold, mm -hmm. is like companion dogs. Yeah. And they're service dogs. They become like service dogs. Yeah, that makes sense. So this dog could actually be trained to be a service, a service dog, dog to Ray. Roommate, yeah. So if he like stops breathing or whatever, the dog you know, could yes, alert no, us. No, no, yes, absolutely. Yeah. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Um, so I, I could I, sleep in here and we could leave our door and open. He, and, and this little guy would be perfect. Yes. Uh, He's very smart. Mm-hmm. Like he knows no. He'll follow me around and yeah, he sets. At, at, at this age, like that, that's the age to learn though. Like with most children, yeah. that's why they get taught so early in life. <laughs> and dogs are, th those two breeds of dogs are really smart dogs anyways. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. And he was only $25. $25. Like, and he has, like, shots already. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of shots. It was a Parvo. It was Parvo fit and some other stuff. <clears throat> he already has, has shots and it was $25. Like, I had to... Verify and re-verify and re-verify. Like we've honestly. gotten we gotten two steals on dogs as far as getting. Yeah, because both of our dogs cost Bust a total of seventy five dollars. Yes. Buster was fifty. Yes, and this this little dude. It's twenty five. They could have made a fortune off this little guy. Um, twenty five bucks for a little bundle of love. Really. Yeah. That's like a sappy video for me. You got this damn puppy in here, and I keep wanting to look at him and pet him. Then you're holding him. Do you want to hold him? No, I'm okay. I always want to hold him. But he's comfortable. I don't want to move him. He is very, like, yeah. out of it. Yeah, he's puppy naps. He got the <clears> little <throat> puppy belly going on. And and uh, it's funny. I, he was <laughs> sleep His on... His turds are only, like, oh, he's, this okay. big. He got puppy turds. That's normal. <laughs> he ain't got grown dog turds yet. <laughs> grown dog turds. <laughs> So he's out on the couch, you know. After I finally wake up, he's like asleep on the roommate's blanket. And I go out there and I'm just, I'm petting him. And I go, his ears are soft. And everyone's like, told you. <laughs> I'm like, what? And they're like, Chad's gonna rub his ears. You're absolutely right, I'm gonna rub because his ears. Because he rubs my ears. <laughs> I love cat ears, I love dog ears. They're soft and they're smooth. I don't know what it is. I used to, I don't know. I, I think it stems from when I was a kid. Um, when I was a kid, I was scared of the dark. Mm -hmm. What I would do to comfort myself is my pillowcase, the open end. Grab. I would grab like the pillow. both of them, like yep. I'd, I'd move them in between my fingers. And you know what it. I use? You did it too. I use a blanket though. You did the same shit. Yes. I thought it was just That's me. That's where my blanket. Like I have to have my blanket covering mm -hmm. my ear when I go to sleep, even mm -hmm. if I'm laying with you. Mm -hmm. It covers my ear that's open. Mm -hmm. because I always had to, that's my comfort like I have to, still to this day like some people suck their thumb and shit mm -hmm. no I just gotta have a blanket cover my ear see I don't do it anymore oh as no kid, I, I need had, to as a kid I had to have that I have to still like, have a blanket cover my, my ear like I'd go up and down my pillowcase when I get to the top I'd come back down it's kind of like rubbing your fingers through yeah. your hair like I would do that and, and my like, sister used to suck her thumb uh -huh. and rub her hair or no suck her thumb and rub her eyebrow Oh, I never heard of that one. Yeah, that's Tiffany. A, oh, yeah, that's it. Huh? That's what, we all do what we do when we're kids. Shit. She used to suck her thumb, um, and this was until she was like my kid's age. Well, some yeah, some kids do. But that, she you know? always did this, and we always made jokes about her eyebrow being fucking some bushy ass shit because she kept rubbing it. <laughs> I never. I I actually knew people. Like I guess 
Yeah, I guess you could. Oh, yeah, she, does. I she never, did this. I never sucked my thumb. I was a pacifier kid as a kid. And I guess I was so anal about my pacifier. Like, it was all raggedy and shit. Mm-hmm. And my mom bought me a new one. And she threw the old one away. And my hard-headed ass found it. Like, you know, I, we were talking yesterday on the video. Like, I'd go I'd find my way to get into shit. Before mm-hmm. I even, I don't even remember this. I'd dig it out of the fucking trash. Eve. Yeah. Can we smoke? Yeah, we can. Mm. I've had a long day. So mm-hmm. I'm kind of wore out. That's okay. But guess what? I don't have any plans tomorrow. Yes, that's right. And we got an amazing pup. We do. I'm so happy that I went and did this. I am too. Like I, I, I was just like I, I wasn't trying to get my hopes up until I knew. Oh, he was real. I, until I knew he was real. But then I saw the picture. I'm like, it was like a relief. I'm like, oh my god, we finally did it. After we both between the two of us, we spent like 10, 11 hours. Yeah. For a He's dog. He's amazing. He is amazing. Oh, magical little guy. And I did it only for the roommate because he has been through so much shit, honestly. Like, I was so happy to just be able to do something good for him. Yeah. Because I'm always the one being like, you got to go to the hospital. You got to go to these doctor's appointments. And he always gets so shitty. But he has a major disease and it's, you know, it will control his life if he doesn't control it first. And he's been wanting a dog forever. And he's been wanting a husky since before his daughter was born, which she's 13 now. Yeah. So I was like, okay. So he went through all this shit and he had to, you know, get a trach and he's not happy with it. And and then I found him a husky. Yeah. But I was super sad because he really went to Meyer for the first time today Uh since his surgery. Uh And it was super sad. Like... Motherfuckers be staring. Yeah, people are assholes. And I'm like, what? Fucking problem? Like, honestly. Yeah, people are assholes. People and jets, that's why I hate people. Like, what was it? I, uh, I posted a video on whiskey sandwiches and Skittles asked when we were going live and shit. And uh, one of the admins like, hey, if you know anyone and join Adam to the group, I was like, well, the problem is I hate most people. I mean, there's not. I saw a... Skittles, but I didn't read those. <laughs> yeah, there was another one, but like, I I hate most people because most people are fucking assholes, especially with shit like that. You just want to smack them upside their fucking head. Yeah. Because they're rotten cocksuckers. Like he was so, already self conscious, and then they mm-hmm. were staring at him, and he was angry because he left the house without a bandana, mm-hmm. which I left his whole fucking bag here that I'm supposed to take everywhere. Well, we're still adjusting and learning yeah, this. Yeah, I um, I forgot completely. It's still a learning and adjusting mm. period right so now. So I felt bad. First time we got him out the house, though. So it's, that was the first it time. It happens. Yeah. We, we, we get better with time. Like, we're learning this whole process. Um, God, where was I going? Oh, uh, I had... Oh! All the fucking videos I've ever made, everything that chats my ass, and the people that shit that pisses me off about people, yeah, I, I mean that shit, but goddamn, we have, like, the biggest hearts of fucking anyone you ever meet. Really. Even though we have some... I know, baby. Crazy oh. arguments sometimes because we're stupid, but... Um, I tried to move my arm so he could lay on my pants mm-hmm. and he scooted it up. Yeah. But now we really are a... We really are a very loving and... Real, caring... Caring... Family. People. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> like, taking care of my baby's dad, so our roommate is actually my child's dad. And... That's... That's tough. Yeah. And it's always been tough on me. But yeah. now I have to, like, suction his throat. Like, he depends on us. Mm-hmm. And it's even worse. Like, it's... Now y'all know that. You're like, damn, it's stud. You do that? Yes. I do that. And yeah. I spoil his ass, too. Like, I spoil everyone in his house. He does. He's like, I think I need to get him a jersey. Yep. <laughs> what? No, nah, actually, no, I had another idea for that. <clears throat> I want to get him his name. Last name on it with his favorite number on the jersey. Colts. That's what I want to do. What's his favorite number? Seven? Yeah. Is it seven? I thought I'm, I couldn't remember. Yours is 11 or seven? Seven. Yours is seven too? I couldn't remember. I didn't know if it both of his words or his. Yeah, I thought about getting the, the Colts jersey with his last name on it. With his number. And I thought about getting you one too. But like not a Colts one. Like a, a cool crazy custom jersey. Yeah, I need like another team. Because I'm trying to build my... Um, Babe, you almost have more jerseys than I do now. Well, that's good. Oh, speaking of, 
So I'm still working on getting my oh shit my jersey fixed. They want to charge me another fifteen bucks to send me a new one. Whole crazy story, anyways. One of the coolest fucking jerseys. Like I'm jealous actually. I really love this jersey too. Um, the yellow Green Bay Aaron Rodgers <clears throat> jersey. Like and that would be great with Favre too. Mm -hmm. Really, but you already got the Favre, but you don't have the yellow Green Bay. And that, this is one of the jerseys I wanted to get you anyway. Yes, that's amazing. Um, it really is. Because I like the yellow. Like, I probably like that one, honestly, probably better than the Bumblebee. Mmm, man. That is a pretty good jersey. I don't know if I like it better than the Bumblebee, the Steelers Bumblebee. Like, that was pretty fucking amazing. But I do like the yellow. But I like yellow, and you're like, baby, you can't wear yellow because you're pale. You are white. You're too white for yellow. Okay, another funny story. I'm going to school. That shit in high though. school... I bought me a bright yellow fucking FUBU jersey to go with my bright yellow and blue Allen Iverson answer shoes. <laughs> Always so cute. But yeah, I, I was that guy, and I'd wear it with khakis. So then I, everything I wore was bright, and I'm pasty, so I, it kind of all blended together. But you know what? I'd fucking do it again, because I still want those shoes, and you can't find the yellow and blue ones anymore, because they never brought them I back out. I try to put his butt in this. Just let him be comfortable. Look at him, he's like, so sweet. Okay, but just because he's comfortable does not mean I am. Baby, you wanted the poor pup in this video, and now you got him. And you're holding him, you're getting your puppy loves. We have to, because of my other dog. Well, you're getting your puppy loves, which you've been dying for. I know. Since I've been trying Lester. to get Mick Mix, Mix Stud to let me have a tiny lap dog. And he keeps telling me, we can't. We can't do that. We can't do that. Okay, you know what? When my fucking kids are 18 years old, I promise. She, I fucking she'll promise. Lap, she'll have her lap dog. Yes, I will. She'll be carrying around in a bag and shit. And I tried to buy you a bald kitten, but they wanted $2,500, which is crazy. Like, there is no way I could afford that. Like, yeah. that's a whole loan. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my gold <laughs> pet is the uh, bald sphinx cat. And I'm going to get it for you. Um... It's just but not twenty five hundred. But I want to get your shit too. You like so we're all we got our we got our little pets. But I mean, we have enough pets for now. Yeah, we do have enough pets for now. I mean, honestly. Yeah, I've never. I gotta pay for all this shit. Yeah, like I've always had, I've always <laughs> been cat guy. I've had cats. Um, never a, a dog except I. It, the crazy thing is I never had a dog, but I worked at the prison. I was a canine officer, and I loved it. He's so fucking cute. <laughs> um, it's like he's smiling. Yeah, he has a face? yeah, he has a smile on his face. Oh, this dog has a smile on his face. Like I swear, he's got a little puppy smile, like perma smile. It always looks like he's just like got a little grin going. Oh, with his bright blue eyes. Like I, and most dogs don't have blue eyes, but the fact like I love the fact that he has blue eyes, which is cool. It makes him mm -hmm. very unique. Yes. I and, thought about getting him microchipped. Oh yeah, that could be. We could do that too, just so you know. We can track them down if something ever Him happens. Him and Buster. Yeah, in case some asshole wants to try to steal them while they're out roaming. But I don't think we'll ever let them out of our sight for it to happen. No. I, I will kill a motherfucker if they take our dogs. Fuck that. That's 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 like kidnapping a child. You ain't gonna do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys... The pup's going to be laying on Mick Stud's lap while he's playing his video games at night. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. It's like, you know you'll have them in here. Thing, it's like having a newborn. I did the same thing with my kids. I was like, I took care of them while I did everything I had. And like, then you will have him uh, now. Yeah, he's like another baby. It really is another baby. Buster was supposed to be another baby, but Buster is independent. He just wants to do what he wants to do. He's... A stubborn asshole. He is a hard headed. Like the rest of us. Yes. Oh, oh my God. It's so fitting that Buster is hard headed and stubborn. Because we is. all are. Everyone in this house is hard headed and stubborn. Everyone. Everyone. <laughs> Every single one of our kids, including us, are hard headed and stubborn. And Buster fits <laughs> to a T. It's like arguing with Buster. Like when you have our, me and you have our dumb arguments, that's like with Buster and us. We're having yeah. our dumb arguments because he just wants to be a fool. Like I want to be a fool or you want to be a fool. We all have our days. Shit. Yeah. <coughs> but damn. Yeah, I am a... <laughs> you love them already. I do. It's ridiculous. 
You should see him trying to eat a tree. He's still in the puppy stage, mm-hmm. so he gets tree crumbs everywhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> everywhere. Well, I mean, that's normal. And then the roommate goes to his car, and he's like, what's all this? Well, like, he started bitching. I was like, that's your dog. He ate a fucking tree on the way home, okay? <laughs> Yeah, because we didn't know what food he ate, but I just got, we got we, little soft dog treats. I was like, hey, if he needs to eat on the way home, like, we got him everything. We took the leash, we took the, and they actually packed him with, they brought him with the collar. So we took the leash so he could get, you know, take him out for bathroom breaks. Took a little bowl and uh, water bottles. Oh, the funny shit about this and bowl. And treats so he could eat water. and be comfortable. I took a blanket so he could be cuddled. Are you ready for yes. this story? Oh, boy, let's hear this. So... My daughter, because mm-hmm. she's ditzy. Yes. I should. Look, and look at this. Look at this. Seriously. Look at this. And she, He's so cute. <laughs> so cute. And she filled it up with a little bit of water. Uh huh. And the dog went and drank it. Yeah. I'm going, mind you, I'm going 60, or I'm probably going about almost 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Of course you are. So about 58. Of course, uh, that's not the speed limit. It's 55. <laughs> gotcha. I can go two or three over without yes, getting I, reckless I agree. driving. I agree. But anyways. So, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get... You're okay. Um, Let's hear a story about this bowl. Um. So, Lex fills this fucking bowl up with water. Mm-hmm. Not fills it up, but you know, enough for a few gulps for his little belly. Mm-hmm. And he wouldn't drink it. So what does she do? She tries to treat it like a bottle? She... Does she give it to him like a bottle? No. Oh. <laughs> she fucking put the bowl out the window. <laughs> and dumped it out? That's Why what... is going 60 miles and That's now. what this girl does. Like... And then, so it all comes back on the back window. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I had to. I had to watch this kid because we were driving. She put the window down. I'm like, hold up, what are you doing? And I hear him whispering, like, hold up, you ain't throwing that shit out the window because there's cars behind us. For a four minute second, that's literally. And then that's whenever a I was getting fine. the dog, <laughs> we had had our Starbucks mm-hmm. and they were empty. Yes. And she decided to set him outside the car. <laughs> I mean, we just left him. Yes. Oh my God, are you serious? <laughs> I didn't know this. Oh, my God. These kids are crazy, man. <laughs> oh, Lord. Are you falling? No, he's just... He's, oh, my God. <laughs> it's like having a baby. Oh, my God. I'm so, like, nervous. <laughs> I'm just trying, Like, I'm overprotective. I'm already overprotective of him. <laughs> like, when we go out to the living room, I sit here and just watch him. Make sure he's doing... I, and I shouldn't be that way, but I am. <sighs> Lord, I don't think you've ever seen this way over dog. No. No, you haven't. He's so cute. Though. He is cute. <laughs> like I've never been a dog person. Like like I said, I was canine at the prison, but never just had a dog. I'm like, man, and we, we were old school, man. We had uh, the old uh, dog houses outside. You put the cover on with like fill it with straw, and make sure they're warm. Like we had outdoor dogs, and I look back, I'm like, man, they. Right, froze her ass off, but that's what people did back in the day. We made sure they were warm. Yeah. But you know what? Like when we took him out to play, Mm -hmm. like it outside to play, Mm -hmm. um, it was a little chilly today. Mm -hmm. Like it never kind of it never warmed up. up. No, it wasn't like the other days. So he was good. Mm -hmm. Buster's tail was shivering. Yeah, poor Buster. Because he doesn't have thick fur Uh, like this dog. Buster's short hair. This little guy's got. He's husky. He's. Yes. This will be the dog that wants to, like, a lot of huskies, like, people get mad because their dogs are outside. Huskies actually like to sit outside in the fucking snow. Mm-hmm. And they're comfortable. Um, this will be the dog, like, oh. Like, I've seen a... Oh, snow. I've seen a picture of this, uh, it was a, not a meme, but it was like, look, I have, I own a husky. And people are bitching because I have my dog outside. But the dog was covered in snow, just laying by the patio mm-hmm. doors. Outside... And he's like, I can't get him to come in because he wants to sit outside in the fucking snow because that's where he's comfortable. Yeah. Like, they love the shit. Um, that's the thing with huskies. They were bred in cold temperatures. He is so cute. Um, he's so cute. Yeah, he's 
Oh my god, that Paul though. He got <laughs> he got some not big big boy Pauls, but he got some big oh <laughs> I'm tickling him, he's like, oh he got some big boy Pauls. Oh boy. <laughs> he's like, get off my Paul, man. I've never had a dog like be ticklish like that. Like he's like ticklish on his paws. That's cute. <laughs> Normally they just let you rub him. Now he's like, ah, that feels weird. Okay. Oh. And he's going to get so much more love when your kids are up here. Oh my god. Yes. And he likes women. Unlike Buster. Buster, yeah, Buster does not doesn't, like Well, I think we still think to this day Buster's owner was a woman and she beat the shit out of him. Yeah, she abused him. Yeah, and I would like to beat her over the head with a fucking broom. Every day, because poor Buster has, I swear he's got PTSD. He does have PTSD. And you go to pet him, and he's like... Or, like, I get out, like, oh, like the broom, Buster. and I don't even come, like, near him with the broom, mm -hmm. and he's, like, all skittish. I'm like, oh, my God. And uh, nothing melts your heart more, like, to go to pet your dog, and they just get down, like, <sighs> like, they're afraid you're going to hurt him. Like, dude, you're going to say, like, and he's never gotten over that. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if they make PTSD medication for dogs or whatnot, but... They make, they make anxiety. I think Buster might need that because I feel bad for him. Some days, like, I just go to pet him. He's like, <sighs> he has his little uh, tics, like, you're going to pet him. He's like, no, I'm going to stretch. I don't want you to touch me. Or he's like, <sighs> and he tucks his tail. I'm like, dude, and I feel ain't no, super one bad. House, no one in this house is ever going to hurt you, buddy. Like, I feel bad because of the puppy, but, and I feel like he's getting mistreated, but I know he isn't. He's not. They just got, they get, it's an adjustment. This is the first day. It's only, it ain't even eight hours. It's getting better, and I think Buster is actually... After what you told me earlier, I think Buster Ow. realizes... Don't do that. I kind of think Buster went from being jealous... <laughs> to, to protecting. To realizing he's young. And now he's like, don't touch him. And the fucked up thing is Buster's not the aggressive... He can be. To a tiny extent. But Buster's not like... He's not going to tear anyone's head off if they fuck with the pup. No. He gonna bite a pillow or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd rather him be defensive and protective than to be standoffish. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'd rather him stick up for him, which is what I'm hoping for. So hopefully, you know, it all works out. He's got to... And then this dog's going to stand up for Buster because this dog's going to be big. <sighs> yeah, Buster ain't going to know what to do when this dog gets big. Buster wants to act a fool. He's like... You know what's going to be fun? What's that? Is at one point they'll be the same size. Mm hmm. That'll be fun. Yeah, and then, but the thing is, they grow so fast. Yeah. Um, and Buster's gonna be like, wait a minute. You were just tiny there a day, and now I'm looking up at you. <laughs> and my Buster ain't gonna know what to fucking do. He's no. hard head. He's like, <sighs> you're gonna have a sigh. Like, Fuck. And then the doll, and the Buster, <laughs> this is funny shit. Buster keeps trying to lick him and shit, mm -hmm. and he follows the puppy everywhere. Mm -hmm. So puppy goes where Buster can't go. <laughs> <laughs> he goes like behind the toilet. <laughs> and Buster just gets no. mad and turns around and walks out. Raymond came out earlier. He's like, dude, I wish you loved the ferret. Mm -hmm. He's like, the ferret will. Like, the ferret will set him straight. Like, Buster doesn't know what to do with the ferret. Mm -hmm. And he won't know what to do with the ferret. But he might just fucking cuddle her. I don't know. He's, oh, he's already made acquaintance with the ferret. Has he? But he's yes. like, I just wish I could let them all run around right now, but you're scared of the he ferret. He's set at the. This dog sat at the ferret's cage. Oh. He's very... He. This dog is a very smart dog. Yes, he is. He's very, very, very smart. smart. I can tell already. It, yes. Since we've had him. And he'll he'll follow me. He mm -hmm. follows me everywhere. Mm-hmm. And then whenever I stop, he just sits down. I'm yeah. like... And, and it's good to have a smart dog like that because sometimes it takes a lot of work to get them to do what you want to do. <laughs> but with this dog, I think we got it made because he's <laughs> like the perfect puppy in every way. Oh, he's falling. <laughs> Are you done with that? No. Oh. Give me a second. Oh, we're at 34 minutes. Sorry. That's okay. He's, oh. he's falling. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, his little blue eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> this is... This is ridiculous. I'm sorry, guys. This is... You're getting sappy McStud tonight. Like, I'm love-struck with this fucking puppy. Look, he went back to sleep. Oh, my God. <laughs> I knew. I look after him like a newborn. I'm like, is he okay? What's he doing? Where's Buster at? Is he going to fuck with him? I'm like, I'm... 
he'll be in here with you playing your game tonight. I'm not playing. He probably will. <laughs> Look at me, he's sound asleep. I might bring that little dog bed in here. You can sit yeah. in here, like right there in front of me. Oh. I haven't given a kiss yet. Oh, you gave the puppy the first kiss. Yes, I gave a puppy a kiss. <laughs> I love, I, yeah, it's so cute. You're all right, baby. Oh. Wow. It's like we just had a new baby and we're like debuting it on video, but it's <laughs> just a fur baby. He's so fucking cute. He is. Oh, he's got his little paws crossed yes. up there. Oh, his little proper pro paw cross. Like, oh. Like the cats used to do. I'm like, oh, they like cross it over like they fucking royalty. Oh. How's your Colt 45, baby? It's done. Oh, it's done? Yep. All right, we're going to uh, cut this off. We're going to love on this puppy for the rest <laughs> of the night. And uh, we'll catch you bitches tomorrow <laughs> for Sunday. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're, we, yeah, we, uh. You see, we got our work cut out for us. We got a little high maintenance little puppy. It's our baby. I'm McStud. I miss this McStud. We'll catch you bitches tomorrow. Deuces, bitches. Tell him bye, Malachi. There, there's his little. There, there. He, he stretched. <laughs> Deuces, motherfuckers.